Hello guys, this is Vlad. Uh, sorry for a late video. Uh, today I'm just gonna show you the finished project of 2015 Honda Core Hybrid. Uh, the reason I didn't show the whole video, the way I fixed the car, the way everything I set up, uh, I do have pictures, so if you're interested, uh, comment it on the box below, uh, message me, let me know what what are you interested in, uh, what kind of parts are you, do you want to install it, and uh, I'll give you more detail what I have to spend on this car and what's the most important. For now, I'm just going to go all over the car, exactly what did I do, what uh what I replaced what was the most expensive or the most difficult part to find for this vehicle uh, as you can see the lights is not for hybrid it's original lights and it's fine uh, the reason I bought the cheapest one and original is because I installed the LED lights and um, LED lights basically for the turn signal, the headlight, uh, high uh, low beam, then the fog lights, everything is blue. Uh, around 6000K and 8000K. The grill is original. Uh, the is because I couldn't find the hybrid grill. Uh, what I am thinking to do is I'm going to buy the blue tape and it's not gonna be like a blue it's gonna be light blue so we're gonna I'm gonna tape it all around those white chromes to make it a little bit uh, like original blue hybrid chrome uh, this is gonna be a little bit later I just bought the, the hood deflector and it's gonna be black I'm gonna install it soon maybe next week and then I'm gonna be able to upload another video of everything else. Uh, the car is, yeah, I received the car from painting. Uh, this is the white pearl. Not bad, not bad, yes. Uh, I have a lot of different cars with different colors. I had the co white color before. Uh, this color is not bad matching with the original one uh, yes I can see the difference but it's not really no notable uh, when you don't really know where exactly the car was painted uh, the car runs drives amazing I drove already for maybe 25-30 miles everything works good I have to still uh, stop by the shop to clean the airbag light uh, because everything was replaced but so this airbag light would shut off you have to take right here uh, SRS airbag module and reset everything and then you're not gonna see uh, the error message the tire pressure is because uh, one tire was damaged when I purchased this car and there was no sensor so I wasn't sure uh, what kind of sensor I have to buy and uh, I didn't have much time so I just bought the tire I installed the tire and for now I'm just gonna buy a sensor and then gonna install back to the car and then this pop-up message will disappear uh, the cars drive so far so good uh, this is my mileage for now well it's not bad uh, for now I, I received uh, I got close to 35 miles per gallon uh, it's not good I agree but uh, it's good um, we'll see because everything's still in the process so let me show you everything what's inside the car mm. 
So, uh, I replace hood, bumper, lights, fenders on this car, even radiator support. So, I have to take from here this side and the middle disconnected and install new one. Uh, I didn't re I didn't do any measurements. The reason why because uh, when I bought this car, the main hit was right in the middle, and this part was not touched. So what I did is I marked uh, from original uh, frame, uh, and then when I bought the new uh, radiator support. Uh, I install close to the marks where I mark and then I check the hood side it's hood if it pops really good everything is perfect uh, level and runs good uh, the most expensive part and I spent close to two weeks looking for this part is let me turn the AC. It's a radiator uh, fan. Radiator fan. The hybrid. The hybrid comes only with one single fan. The dealership sells only in three pieces. Uh, the shroud, three hundred dollars. The motor is six hundred fifty dollars, and what was uh, some other connection? You know, basically the, the whole total uh, of the uh, fan is will come up like one thousand five hundred, something like that. And I was looking everywhere, uh, eBay, other websites, and there's a. Uh, uh, rockparts.com I believe there's a lot of different jun junkyards from different uh, states and there was only three uh, fans so I called some of them uh, the original price was 300 plus the shipping shipping was like 50 75 dollars depends from who and luckily two weeks after I call again to to the same dealership, not dealership, uh, junkyard. Uh, they, they was able to sell me for 300 with the shipping. So this was the most greatest <laughs> price for me. Uh, when I got this fan, I was able to connect everything to see the car, the way it drives, uh, uh, runs, and no heating. Everything was great. Uh, if you're looking for the same part, 300 is really good deal. 250, that's cake. You you got it for cheap, basically. Uh, yeah, 400 is gonna be alright. Uh, I love the car for now. Uh, let me know guys if this video is helpful for you and if you have any more questions just support me my channel uh, so I'll show you some more pictures uh, about the cars this is not my first car this is like probably my tenth and I do I'm buying cars for myself to drive it to see what what car I would love more the most, and I'm if I'm gonna like it, I'm just gonna keep it. Uh, I will show you. I will show you another car that I bought really cheap. Uh, it was seven hundred dollars. But honestly, the whole damage was not so much. The part was expensive, and the every, everything else, you know, what's in this car uh, got broke. It just 
made me waste of my money and time uh, so if you're really interested in the 2015-2012 Volkswagen Jettas let me know and I'll give you more description of this car how expensive it was and if it's worth buying this car alright guys have a good one bye bye